Good morning, Callie Fab here, and today I'm gonna do just a little get ready with me to, oh my God, don't mind me, I just showered so my hair is still wet. Most of you guys know I just air dry my hair, I don't really blow dry my hair ever. It's really damaging, but anyways. Whew, I want to do, do a get ready with me to talk about my Florida trip that I just got back from yet, no, not yesterday, on Sunday night. And my skin is ridiculously dry. I was going to do liquid foundation, but I'm just not going to today. This is the Becca First Light Priming Filter. I've been using this a lot when my skin is dry. And when I was in Florida, you guys know I have combination skin. When I was in Florida, my skin was so moisturized and healthy looking and oh, I really miss it. And now that I'm back in Michigan, oh my God, it's so dry. I can't stand it. Anyways, I know a lot of you know the struggle, but hopefully it's starting to get a little bit warmer since I've been back, but hopefully <laughs> he's on my lap. Hopefully it'll get better. But now I have to re-figure out what I'm going to use for today. Kitty. Look at him. So we left two Fridays ago and it was a long drive. It was like, I don't know, probably 24 hours. But we ended up staying overnight in a motel hotel. It was really nice the first time. We stayed at that same hotel on the way back and it was nuts. Just nuts. Okay. But we went to so many different places while we were in Florida. It was amazing. We ended up staying in Orlando Beach, which I'm sure you guys, some of you have seen my Instagram feed. I cannot get this open. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. That was the Clarins Mission Perfection Serum that I just used. And now I'm going to use the Milk Makeup Sunshine Oil. Um, it's starting to go bad, I think. So I'm trying to use this up, especially because my skin's been so dry. Um, but anyways, we, the first day, my dad and I, when we got there on Saturday, we woke up early Sunday morning and we went to the NASCAR race and that was at Daytona 500. So that was so much fun. There were so many crashes. Not that I want anybody to crash, but honestly, crashes are just more fun to watch because then there's more action than just watching cars go around and round, you know? So that was so much fun. We had such a good time. We got there early. We sat around and just chit chatted and it was just a really good time. I had so much fun with my dad. And then as nighttime fell and the sun went down, it was freezing. Like, oh my God, I was so cold. And of course I didn't have a long sleeve on because earlier that day had been like 80 degrees outside. So it was so cold. Oh my God, I couldn't handle it. I was like, I can't breathe, I'm so cold. And I was like cuddled up in his arms. <laughs> it was just, yeah, it was really rough how cold it was. So that was a good time. But anyways, we came back and then my stepmom and Carter were at the hotel for the day playing in the pool and you know, having fun. And we ended up going to this German restaurant that was right across the street. It was like an authentic German food, German people. Like, it was really cool. And the soup there was amazing. Oh, my God. It was so good. And then everybody got, like, meats and stuff. I didn't end up getting any of that. Um, Carter and I shared a chicken parmesan. And I had the noodles and the sauce. And he had the chicken. So he said it was really good. And then... Gosh, we did so much. I can't even remember like which days everything happened on because we did so much. And then I'm pretty sure on Monday, so the next day, we ended up going to Ponce Inlet, which is where the turtle rescue is. And it was amazing seeing the turtles and seeing they actually had um, a turtle that had just come in when we got there. And it had been, it had gotten hit by a propeller, a boat propeller. 
so the whole like shell of it had been like cracked and broken it was very small too it was only like this big so in turtle world and sea turtle world that's very very small but it was just so sweet and they were just helping him and it was just so nice so we ended up i ended up well my dad bought me a shirt because some of the pro proceeds and the profits go to the turtles so i really like that i asked them specifically if they did because i wasn't going to buy one unless some of the proceeds went to the turtles and then after that we went to the chocolate factory to see how like they made the chocolate and stuff like that that was really interesting i mean it, it was a little bit smaller than i thought it was going to be it was literally in a strip mall i'm going to use the meat matrimony um palette and I'm not sure what look I'm going to go with yet. So I'm probably just going to do something neutral. I'm working today. So yeah, we went to the chocolate factory and I got Carter some chocolates and I brought some chocolates home for my husband. I can't remember. Was it on Monday? I don't remember which days that we did everything on because we did so much stuff. Like, I don't even know. Anyways, and I know one of the days on Wednesday, I think it was... We ended up going to St. Augustine, which is, you know, the oldest town, I think, in um, Florida. It was founded in 1545. Pretty sure that's the date. I could be a little off on that date, but I'm sure, pretty sure it was founded in 1545, which is amazing. And of course, we went on a ghost tour and a ghost walk and did all that kind of fun stuff, which was amazing. I love that kind of stuff because... If you know me at all, I'm definitely a ghost type person. I believe in all that kind of stuff. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So that was really cool and a lot of fun. Carter was a little bit worried about it because we went to the late night one. So it was dark out. And, uh, but he was good. I mean, he only got a little bit nervous at one point when... We went to the Sheriff Ghost Walk. I can link his website down below. He was amazing. You guys should definitely check him out if you're going to St. Augustine. But my dad goes to him pretty much every year when they go because they really like him. And he changes up his stories. Not that his stories are fake, but he, you know, tells you a different story each time you go on there pretty much. So that was really cool. And, um, yeah, he had said... Yeah, but right now there are so many people that died in this town that you could be standing on dead bodies right now underneath, you know, the soil and the concrete and whatever. And Carter freaked out. So that was a little bit much, I think, for him. But, I mean, it was cool. I thought it was super cool. So I'm using Matt Rossi right here in the crease. I'm really loving these like cool tone brown gray colors in my crease lately. I just feel like they work so good with my skin tone. I'm loving them. But anyways, we did all that. <clears throat> we went to a candy store there and I got this candy that I haven't had since I was a child. They're called um, satellites or something i can't even remember what they're called anymore but i have a few left so i'm really excited about those i've been eating them like crazy i bought like two huge packages of them but yeah they are amazing i love them they're like not healthy whatsoever but they're not the worst candy you could have either Anyways, so I'm going to use the Too Faced Chocolate Gold palette. I'm going to have a full review on this palette very soon. I've almost used every single color on my eyes, not just swatched. And I've been so satisfied with this so far. But like I said, there's still a few more colors that I have not used. I want to use all of the colors and wear test and all that kind of stuff for all of them before I make my final decision on if I love it or not. So one of the days, oh, and when we were in St. Augustine, we went to Precious Moment. Is it Precious Moment? Present Moment, sorry. We went to the Present Moment Cafe, which is, I'm trying to figure out which colors I haven't used yet. I haven't used this one yet. Um, I'm gonna use Old Money from the palette. It's like a burnt, coppery, orangey color. We went to Present Moment Cafe, which is a completely vegan cafe, and it was 
amazing. Oh my god, it was so good. I got this vegan burger and hummus and chips, which was so good. Oh my god, it was so good. And then... Where else did we go? Oh, and we got an ice cream there too. It was like a brownie. It was all vegan. So it was like a brownie vegan ice cream with cherries and chocolate. And it was so good. Oh my God. And then at that same cafe, there's a lot of fallout just now. At that same cafe, we ended up getting um, cookies. Carter and I ended up getting a vegan chocolate chip cookie and a vegan double chocolate cookie so good oh my god they were amazing I will if I can find the website for those cookies I don't know if they have them specifically only at present moment cafe or if they sell them themselves because it was a different like vendor because they were in like plastic um, I will link them down below if you guys are looking for vegan options for sweets I swear to God, these are the best cookies I've ever had, ever. Like, I've made my own vegan cookies quite a few times, and they are good, but they're not, like, this good. Like, I don't know. They were amazing. All of these places that I'm mentioning, I will try to link them down below if I can find websites or anything for them. So anyways, we went there, and I don't know if you guys believe in ghosts or not, but I do. I totally do. We have ghosts in our basement. I swear we do. Carter and I have both seen them. And my stepmom has felt them when she came over. So we definitely have ghosts in our house. But furthermore, I saw a ghost at the Present Moment Cafe. Kitty. I saw a ghost at the Present Moment Cafe, which was so weird. Like... It was, it ended up being like, we were sitting in these like really comfy like couches next to the bar. Not like an alcoholic bar, but like the coffee bar, you know? <clears throat> and I swear I was reading the book that they have there, like telling their history and like how they were developed and stuff like that. <laughs> Kitty. And um, I was looking down reading this book, right? So I'm like looking down and then I saw a woman put, get into the second seat of the bar with like a blue skirt, gray top, brown, longer hair than mine, um, kind of in a messy ponytail that was kind of falling out. And then when she like got up and she put her leg up to get in the chair, cause it was like kind of high bar chairs, she looked directly at me for a second. And I was still reading, so I'm still looking down. So I saw this with my peripheral vision. And then she got in the seat after she had looked at me like directly at me and so i was done with my paragraph and i looked up and there was no and there was nobody there literally kitty oh my god no and i asked my dad and i asked my stepmom i'm like was there somebody at the bar just now like like literally two seconds ago and they just walked away like did i not see her walk away and they were like, no, nobody, nobody sat at the bar. Nobody's been sitting at the bar all the whole time we've been here. And I'm like, no freaking way, because I swear to God, I saw somebody there. I swear I did. But yeah, so St. Augustine was a really good time. I had so much fun there. And then one of the days we ended up going to Casadega, which is like a spiritual healing camp. I guess there's a camp in New York that they go for, that they go to in the summertime. <clears throat> and then in the wintertime, they all migrate to Casadega because it's nice weather, you know, whatever. But there's a lot of like spiritual people there. So people that do, um, readings that do astrological readings that do tarot card readings that do um that are mediums that can connect you with other things and yeah so my stepmom ended up getting a medium reading and i was like you know that would be cool i want to do that and he told me some really <clears throat> some really interesting things like things that I hadn't even really thought about. And it was just so cool, like getting that knowledge and getting that, I don't know, uh, like second thought of something that I hadn't really thought of in a while. 
it was just really interesting so yeah um, I'm gonna use the chocolate gold color to the yellow yellow I wish that that yellow wasn't a big pan I wish it was like two smaller size of different colors um, just because I know I'm not gonna use that yellow very often but I'm gonna try it out and I'm gonna put it in the center like a halo just a little bit just to give this color a little bit of dimension so while we were in Casadega too we ended up eating at this restaurant and it was the best vegetarian chicken alfredo I have or not chicken alfredo vegetarian alfredo I have ever had it was so good the sauce was super like not like saucy but they put a lot of extra alfredo sauce on there which just like sunk in and it had like mushrooms and onions and um, broccoli and something else was in there tomatoes maybe I don't know but it was so good and all I did was put a little bit of salt and pepper on it it was amazing and we had deep fried artichoke hearts which I had never had before those were amazing Ugh. like literally all of the food we had was so good every single morning I went for a walk on the beach and most of the mornings I went with my dad and we walked up to Starbucks which was um, a little over a half mile away up the beach and then you just kind of go on the boardwalk and then go on the street and it's like right there so that was really super nice being able to do that with my dad I went one of the days with my stepmom Heidi and that was so much fun we just kind of chatted and girl talked and whatever so that was really nice and then the last couple of days my dad so my stepmom had been pretty sick the whole time just coughing and just not feeling right and then the last couple of days my dad was getting sick and I'm like what is going on like I'm not feeling sick at all like I feel perfectly fine yeah I had gotten a lot of sun so I was feeling like pretty warm to the touch but I think that was just because my body had been getting so much sun and you know my I wasn't used to it you know so my body was just adjusting to the amount of sun that I was getting because I was wearing tank tops and shorts every single day because you have to when you're in Florida I mean come on I can't wear long sleeves and sweatpants and no anyways so I'd go for a nice long walk on the beach it's so nice some of the mornings I went one or one or two of the mornings I went by myself and that wasn't as fun as having you know someone to just chit chat with and just walk next to and whatever but um I use the Elizabeth Mott What Up Beaches little sample size that I have. I'm working it down pretty well. Probably gonna have this used by the end of a couple months, so pretty excited about that. Anyway, so doing all that, I went for walks at night too. And usually my walks at night were by myself, which was perfectly fine because I would either call my husband and talk to him for a little while because he didn't come with us. It was a little sad. I missed him a lot. My son really missed him. He talked about him like every single day. So that was, you know, a little sad that he couldn't come. He couldn't get off work. So we went without him which honestly like the condo that we stayed at was pretty small so it would have been a really tight fit having me my husband and my son in a full-size bed that's like underneath the couch so that would have been a really tight fit but nonetheless I would have enjoyed him being there so I would go on the beach and take a nice walk at night you know settle my food because a lot of times we were eating a lot of good food which was amazing amazingly I didn't gain any weight on the vacation either which is crazy to me but I guess it's not because of the amount that I was walking and the amount that I was outside and the pool and on the beach and you know just kind of going and doing and moving I didn't really have time to snack so really all we had was our you know our meals so that was good I didn't gain any weight I didn't lose any weight either but oh my god I have makeup all over my black shirt by the way, can you guys see this like darkness on my wrist here? It's like right here. I don't know if you guys can see it on there. I have it. I have it on this one too. You guys see that darkness on my wrist? I have no idea what it's from and it's a little bit on the fronts too, but it's majorly right here and right here. I don't know what it's from and it just showed up one day when I was in Florida. 
I don't know if I just have more pigment in that area in my skin and it really touched the sun or something. I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, I'm going to use my Tarte Color Wheel palette. And I think today I'm going to use the shade Montage, which is right here. It's like a muted pinky neutral color. Um, it's not, it doesn't have any shimmer or anything like that in it, but I don't know. I can't remember if I liked it or not, so I'm going to use it. The sleeping was so not ideal because my dad and stepmom both snore, which was quite obnoxious, but I got used to it, honestly, after a little bit. But then my stepmom, like I said, she was sick pretty much the whole time we were down there. So she was coughing in the middle of the night and she just, you know, was up and down. And for me, I'm very sensitive to people around me when I'm sleeping because I don't sleep well unless it's like really quiet or, you know, there's a constant hum of whatever in the background. So that was a little unfortunate that she wasn't feeling good. But, you know, I ended up sleeping a little bit, not as good as I sleep at home, but, you know, well enough and then on the way back my son starts coughing and I'm like man please don't get sick please don't get sick and to, or yesterday was Monday so his first day back at school and what happens he gets called homesick I'm like are you freaking kidding me right now so I know it's not their fault like they didn't make him sick or anything you know it's just the fact that we were all around each other all the time and that's just what happens when you're around people that you know aren't feeling well and then you start not feeling well I'm gonna use the essence pure nude highlighter in the shade 10 be my highlight for my base highlight with my humongous what is this I think it's a coastal sense fan brush um, but yeah, so that was less than ideal that he has been sick now and he's got a fever and gosh, it's just like, I can't win. I just can't win. And that's okay because I have to teach today. My husband's dad is watching him. He's not feeling so hot. He's feeling, it seems like he's feeling a lot better today than he was yesterday, but still on that fact it's like man I just I don't want my kid to be sick you know I know a lot of you moms will feel the same about that but I'm gonna use the Balm Voyage shade in Kukarabisha I always pronounce that weird um, this is in one of my project pans I haven't hit pan on it yet a little spoiler but I don't update for another like week and a half so hopefully I'll have pan by then I've been using it like crazy I would have thought I had pan by the time I got back from Florida, but unfortunately, this is the never ending highlight, but I do really, really like it. So actually, I don't mind. Oh my god, my skin is so dry that my foundation is like breaking apart because my skin is so dry. Oh, so frustrating. I'm going to use my Project Beauty Spray Set Go because this is very, very wet. <laughs> Has he been in the background the whole time? He's such a good kitty. Um, but I'm gonna spray it this way so I'm not spraying kitty cat. Oh my god, I forgot how wet that is. It's like a freaking hose spraying my face. I totally forgot. That's so wet. Anyways, I needed a little bit of moisture in my skin. I probably should have done that before. I even put on makeup because that would have helped probably. Anyways, I knew I wanted to do the wet spray before I did mascara because it's a hot freaking mess when I do mascara. Clearly I'm not really going to do my eyebrows at all today because I don't feel like it and I'm not the type of person where I feel like I need to do my eyebrows every day. I am however going to put, I'm just going to set them down a little bit with a eyebrow mascara I'm using the essence make me brow honestly for me because of the fact that I don't really use I don't really use it very often I don't really feel like I need it very often I'm not gonna buy <laughs> an expensive eyebrow gel or mascara or anything like that because that's just pointless for me like truly pointless oh my god my skin looks so much better it's very my skin looks very wet now, 
but that is okay. At least it doesn't look dry and cracky. I'd rather look like I have a little sweat on me than dry and cracky because that's just not a good look for me and my skin tone. Especially that I have a little bit more of a tan now. It's like, oh, no girl, I cannot look cracky today. So see the difference between my eyebrows? It's really not much of a difference. Just a little bit of color and a little bit of setting my eyebrows because they like to go a little bit crazy when I'm teaching for some reason. So like enough crazy that I actually notice it, you know? But anyway, so I am so sad to be back in Michigan, but it felt so good getting into Michigan and knowing that I only had an hour left to drive and seeing my husband oh my god it was so great seeing my cat my husband like first thing when I held my cat he's like he missed you so much and I'm like oh my god my kitty cat I love him he's the best aren't you mamma and then my girls, both my dogs, I have two Goldens, Bailey and Zoe, and my girls were just like so ecstatic to see me. Like they, they always do this like weird whining, like arr, arr, when they're like really happy to see you. And Bailey started doing that and I was like, oh, she loves me. Not that I didn't think she loved me before, but it just feels so good to be welcomed home and to really know you know that home really is where your family is and where you know the, your love is and where you know you cherish the most as much as i loved being in florida i really love being home and being in my own space in my own bed in my own routine but then again i'm so glad i went to florida because I have this like renewed sense of life and purpose and you know it just feels really good it feels really good to you know get that renewal and you know get a little vitamin d because it's been months since i've had any vitamin d aka sunlight because it's been so gloomy and so snowy and so wet here in Michigan that when I got out of the car when we were going down in Georgia, we had stopped at a rest area and the sun was just like blaring on me and I still had my sweatpants and my, I still had my sweatpants and my hoodie on and I just got out of the car and I just like put my arms out and I just like looked up at the sun and I just stretched my body and it felt so good. <laughs> that renewed sense of life that the sunlight gives you and that being somewhere different gives you just it feels so good. Anyways I used my Shiseido eyelash curlers and right now I'm using my Essence Lash Princess. I really really been liking this mascara. It's so good. Like, I don't know. I wasn't too sure about it the first time I had used it. When I used it in a first impression, get ready with me. I will leave that down below. But, um, I don't know. Like, I wasn't sure about it. wasn't sure. And now that I've been using it consistently for the month, it's been amazing. And I'm actually going to be really sad when it's all out because I've been enjoying it so much. I don't think I'm going to do much else. Like I said, I'm teaching today and I don't like to go too crazy on my makeup when I'm teaching just because I feel that it's um, a little unprofessional for me because I do teach at a college. Um, not to mention the fact that, oh, I don't know why I'm holding it like that. Not to mention the fact that I don't think my students want me to be in full glam every day. And we have midterms today, so I want to get there a little bit early so I can print them out. And also, I want to stop at Starbucks and get a Starbucks. I had my breakfast this morning. I had a piece of toast with peanut butter and banana on it, and I love having that breakfast. It's so satisfying, so filling. It feels so good. I'm just going to eat a little breakfast before I start. I'm starving. So it is toast, peanut butter, and bananas for breakfast. And then I'm probably going to stop at Starbucks and get a coffee on the way to teach. And then I'm going to bring some veggies for lunch today. So that'll be good. 
I think that's all I'm gonna do today. I am gonna spray myself with some Master Fix by um, Maybelline and once my mascara dries a little bit better. But yeah, that is the look for today and I hope that you guys enjoyed hearing a little bit about Florida. I don't want to tell you specifics of like where I was staying and stuff like that just because, you know, my family goes there every year at the same time and I feel a little uncomfortable telling you guys where exactly it is. But it's on Ormond Beach right on the water so it's one of those condo units. It's beautiful. It's amazing. And walking every day just felt so good and I got a tan. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I have like white and then tan. This is not even close to how much I tan. This is literally just a week. If I stay out in the sun and tan all summer, like I get really dark. Like I have to change my makeup significantly because I get so dark. I don't do the self tanner. It's just not my thing. Anyways, but I hope you guys enjoyed this get ready with me and like I said, hearing about Florida and just kind of getting some inspiration and maybe you're thinking about traveling and you know, you weren't really sure where to go, but I mean, Ormond Beach is beautiful. Daytona Beach, I wouldn't specifically say is that nice. I mean, it's definitely like a party beach, but Ormond Beach is more family oriented and more safe. I felt like I felt perfectly fine walking by myself. So... Anyways, I hope you guys have a wonderful day or night wherever you are, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. You guys, you didn't even tell me that I don't have any lipstick on. Oh, so I picked out, <laughs> it's totally my fault. I do it all the time. I'll like walk out of the door and be like, what's missing on my face? Oh yeah, lipstick, duh. That's why I have some in my car. Anyways, I'm gonna use the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Ludwig. This is in my lipstick roulette project, I guess. Um, and my plan with this one is to try to wear it all day during teaching and see if it works out. So let's give it a go. Oh, super lightweight. Super neutral nude color for me. Um, it's almost too light with my tan. I think I would have liked it a little bit more if I didn't have my tan, but I don't know. We're going to try it for the day and see how it goes. Nothing on my teeth yet, which is my number one pet peeve about liquid lipsticks. They always get on my teeth. Yeah, so I'm going to try this out for the day. See how many times I have to reapply it. And then... So I kind of like it. It's, um, like I said, it's very neutral color on me. It's very lightweight. Like I wasn't expecting this one to be so lightweight, but it really is. Hmm. I like it. Okay, bye for real.